Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play King's Bounty Warriors of the North, Ice and Fire. We will have one last fight with this army and then we will change armies. I already have an idea. Approaching the tower you realize that there is no magic dome and the three mages that troubled you so much have now disappeared. But in front of the tower there stands a single magician and it's clear that he is not lost in meditation. No, I think he's lost in kicking our asses. Okay. Um, you can do nothing, you can do nothing, you can do nothing, you can do nothing. Can Raven do something for us? Yes, but not what I hoped for. Well, that might do it. Okay, I want Berserk up. And the next thing we'll train is Transmutate, because, as Lickrand has stated right, it will be more fun of the game if we have less waiting and more fighting. The problem is we have tons of the green ones, and they're not really useful for us at the moment. I think that might be useful. 20% chance that they miss their turn. I find that I find that quite good to be honest. I buy that. And if I buy that I will have no Hmm. No, I keep the I, I keep the runes. Have you quite finished working havoc messenger from Demonis? Do you realize what you've done? You've destroyed the Altars, and now the Guardian Mages have fallen into a deep, lethargic sleep. It will be a full four years before they awaken. Until then we have no one to guard the barrier, and we're defenseless against all who seek to destroy the tower and to kill us. Listen. Everything would be simple if you just gave me the Staff of Star. You worm, you pathetic, uneducated, primitive barbarian. How dare you to ask me for the Staff? Do you know who I am? The mere mention of my name causes the younger mages to cover in fear and hide their eyes. No one in the hold of Darien dares to stand against me, for I possess the Staff of Starlight. I am Nirlem, Master of Magic, and I possess power of such immense magnitude that you could not even begin to convince. But you are fortunate, for you shall now behold all my strength and all its glory for I will destroy you and your disciplinary crimes. But can we settle this amicably? You know, I just... Hey, hold on. It's not necessary. I warn you. Yes, you. And he starts to fight, no matter what we do. So, um... I need the full force of firepower. Okay, um... Yeah, I think we do it that way. Okay, let's go to battle. What do we want? Which is our biggest target? We want position. We want double movement. And we want those guys hit. Impressive shot. I want you to go a little bit forward and then I want I could call in demons but I think best thing here is to do as much damage as we can very 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 good take that one out So, I want attack and I want you out of the picture. Very impressive. I want an attack bonus. I could try to take down the Royal Griffins, I think that's a good idea. And I failed miserably. Okay, can I get a double movement? C 
good that was a good idea because that was your last idea uh oh that's not good <gasps> that really hurt me but good thing is it will block the rest of the morons maybe he goes the right way no he decides not to okay um what do we want i want as much damage as possible to those guys oh shit this is just going perfect okay with me the real problem starts if I go a little bit forward I think that will not help will it oh it will can you do me a f big favor and do a critical exactly now this is the time I need a critical what am I talking nobody's listening anyway okay um I want you out of the picture or do I yes okay you go there and you push can I do oh, well I can do this that did hurt Can I end this battle before he is on his turn? I don't think so, because I have no real big damage spells. This will kill 10, that is not enough. This is just my luck. I simply do not have a spell that does enough damage. and he will no question starting to cast bullshit oh just great can I do anything to take him out for one round yes I can no I cannot because he's too high in level um so that's out too this is just wonderful I cannot stop him and you can be sure he will do something really really stupid and I forgot to cast a spell and I bet he will cast some real evil shit on me Well, good thing I'm so immune to everything. Okay, 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 okay. First of all, you take out that guy. Second, you take his life force and replenish him. And I won! Well, I could have done much better, but I'm not complaining. From the hands of the fallen battle mage, you take a staff dropped with an unusual beautiful pommel. Probably this is the very staff of which Gulliford spoke, Staff of Starlight. Now we stay with the Warden of the North. You reach the tower gates and try to open them. 
but your best efforts are in vain. The massive doors do not buckle to despite your nearest breaking of your fingers trying. Suddenly the shutters of one of the upper window opens and the wizard old man in a funny hat leans out. He pierces you with his angry gaze and says, Pull as hard as you will. You will not move those gates. I'm Archmage Razo. Do say so. <laughs> nice. Um, open up, old man, or it will be worse for you. I'm Olaf, son of Sir Tormund. Say so. What do you intend to do, eh? Pearl me with arrows, or cast one of your puny spells, or whack your finger at me threateningly? Feel free, my friend, while you still have the chance. Now you're fretting, my feisty friend. Look, the gates are hardly bursting under the strains. I told you, the gates will never open. Well, the demo with you, old man. I still have the staff with me. Well, we have the staff. That's the important part. Treasure chest! Sadly, without any useful content. Nevertheless, we have one mission here. And that is... Well, we can start buying things, by the way. So we did not do not have to return here all the time. So they will be of no help. Let's look at that guy, what he wants. I think we already bought everything. About the new army. Yes, I could make a human army. Yes, I could make an orc army. Uh, you'd stated that elven armies are not longer that um, that powerful. I have an idea for an elven shooting army, and I will try that. And if you go with all boo boo, uh, then I will see if I would change the idea. But I would introduce it to you. It has to do with one of the new units, the snow elves unit. I mean, not the archer. He will be part of the team, but not the main idea. The main idea will be different. Okay, we cannot deploy any troops here. That is sad, but so. So I say we've bought everything we can here. No, wait, there are two more items that we can buy from this country. And I simply want to have all the items possible at my disposal if I decide I need them. We buy this and we buy that. No worries, our next target will be the orcs. The orcish islands. And now I hear you say orcs. Why orcs? Well, because I think they are the next easiest part to destroy. And orcs are very, very good for getting trap kills. And we only need a few to complete that. And then we can drop whatever uh, trap we have and exchange that for another artifact that I would put prefer if I'm asked. So we rest here for the moment. We talk to that guy. He does not sell anything that we can use. I think there are no shops in that direction. So... Captain, I killed the Orkry this terrorizing Darien. It was a sturdy battle, I can tell you. Great news, Olaf. Finally, your people are breathed easy once more. I've heard already received your reward, but please allow me satisfaction of rewarding you in my own small way. Please kneel. Do as he asks. Renly puts his sword and lays the blade first on your left, then on your right shoulder. By the power vested in me, by the noble rule of Darien, I hereby dub three, Sir Olaf, slayer of giants, arise, Sir Olaf. You are hereby knighted. Bear the title with honor. No, we stay what we are. Um, yeah, we could really, we could really make a human army here. Personal enemy, prudent, but the point is they're only getting an evasive, um, evasive chance if they're nearly destroyed. 
and that is simply not what I have in mind. Okay, you will be parked here, you will be parked here, you will be you will be parked here. You will be destroyed. You can stay with the army for the moment. Do you sell anything more? Do you know what? We can wear that. This is all of no use. Yes, I know money is going down. We'll have to live with that for the moment. Um, you can go here just in case. I try to maneuver every time as best as I can, but you can never be sure. He does not sell anything besides spiders that is of any interest to us. And let's see if there is something sold to us here. But I don't think so. He sells a dagger and an armor and no troops that we're interested in. Which reminds me there is something I'm interested in. Well that for the moment. We have too many spell scrolls. Sorry guys, we have to go back to the other castle. I do not want to sell spells in Gulliford's castle because I have very, very bad feeling about that guy. I already have a bad feeling that we positioned our troops there. I think that could be could be a bad choice. But on the other hand, where else will we put our troops? Nearly every castle we have is overloaded. So, um, 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 here we go. Sell, 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 sell. One more we have to sell. That's a hard choice. I sell, we sell one of those. Now we sold two, that is one too many. But I think I know what which spell we need. Do you know what I have another idea? I don't like the idea of placing our troops in Gulliford's hands. I think that could be a really bad idea. Gulliford hates us. I'm pretty sure of that. And when he gets the chance he will stab us in the back without further hesitation. And I'm simply not taking that chance. So give me the troops and rot in hell, will you? And then we'll buy sheep. We will buy sheep, the spell sheep. And that will be a glorious buying. I think we can buy target as well. Oh, nice bow. I want this, and what is that? Inflicts minimum damage to its attack and talons. Has no effect. Well, I don't like that. Okay, do you know what? We go to this islands because I think they are selling, uh, still have room for troops. Yes, they have. We buy that, we buy that. Rest we let them keep. We fill up our troops. I think we have everything they can offer. I think I sold those spells personally here. Yes, I did. Actually, I did. Uh, Okay, um, let me have a quick look on the map. No, we don't need the map. We want to go to Melasar. 
perfect. So what does the guy want in Melisar, you ask? Well, Melisar has some of the troops that we need. And I'll deal testing grounds. Okay, I want this guys with us. I want you stationed here. Hmm. You come with me. You come with me. You will not come with me. None of you will come with me. We will not buy any of these items. We could buy this helmet and destroy it for crystals. We buy all of those guys. I want this. Book of Evil is an idea. I think Book of Evil is quite useful. Buy this. Um. Call of Nature, Artifact, no, Crystal Ball we already possess. We already got tons of that. We cannot afford this. We already got that. We'll come later to that. I definitely want this. We buy none of those. Perfect. Ice Gardens. The trick is nearly complete. I want this, guys. I want that. Plus 5 health to creatures level 3 and 4. That is useful, but I think we will sell it when we have the chance. We nearly have the army I want. We're very, very close. All we have to do is outmaneuver that guy. Oh crap. I'm a moron. This is bad. This is really, really, really bad. I'm totally not sure I can, I can pull this fight off. I will do my best, but they are powerful. Okay, first thing we do is position. He is in fighting range. So we move here and try to take out the enemy range fighters first. Well, that was terrible. And I do not even have rage. How miserable is that? At least they're asleep. That might be useful in the end. You bottle up. We must take out the enemy ranged fighters. Mm, this reduces enemies' abilities. I want. What can they do? They can fire cold arrows. Oh, just perfect. You stay where you are. That will damage them a little, I hope. Can I do anything to stop you? Yes, perhaps this will stop you. Maybe I'm lucky, maybe I'm not. We'll see. Depends on how dumb they are.
Oh shit. This is gonna hurt. Okay, you know what? You hit that guy in the face. Good work. Okay, this fires poisonous arrows and puts enemy to sleep. That's fine with me. Do that to this guy. We're taking more and more damage here because I do not dispel, which I think is a dumb idea. I think dispelling is very, very powerful and very, very important. Okay, we can only resurrect that way. Okay, we must take out this guy. We must take it out, we have no other choice. Do you do damage per special damage to... No, no special damage to, an, uh, to uh, um, animals. There are troops in the game that do extra damage to animals. Okay, you freeze him. Not nearly as powerful as I hoped. <sighs> what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? This might buy me some time. And let's ruin his life. Why was he not taking this? Okay, that is the least expected trap kill I've ever had. Okay, we concentrate fire on these guys. Is it done now with this? Oh crap, I cannot resurrect them all. Oh, this is bad. And he will still be... Oh, this is evil. Oh, holy crap. But I have no other choice. How many can I have? Oh, this is bad. This is bad right from the start. Can I do anything to damage you really badly? I don't think so. They did survive that. Would you believe it? Give them hell. So... Now I have a real problem. Because I bet my ass I cannot do enough damage to kill this guy in time. This is round four and he they are still still in bad condition. I must do something against that. Okay, you do nothing. You do nothing. You do nothing. You get forward and do nothing. You do nothing. Yeah, that's what I feared. Okay, uh, no. Move forward. 
you do nothing, you do nothing, and you move forward. Round five. Let's see if I can save the day or not. I cannot. I cannot save the day, or can I? No, because I cannot stop this guy. Other than perhaps if I copy him here. You do nothing. How fast is he? Four. Can I do anything to stop him? No, I cannot. And I cannot reach this thing here. I can move there. And then I can block this way. But do I have the chance to survive one more, two more turns? That is the question. Oh, this is gonna hurt. You do nothing, round six. I still do not have enough mana to do anything useful. You do nothing, you do nothing, you do nothing. He will hit me again. Okay, do nothing, do nothing, do nothing, do nothing, do nothing, do nothing. Round seven, now it must work. Please tell me I have enough healing power to wake up all. Yes, I have. Thanks for the heavens. Oh boy, that was totally not planned. I'm not here to kill people. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. You go here, you go there, and I want those. Yes. Now you ask, why does he recruit these guys, uh, these ladies? Is it because they can call winter thorns? Yeah, nice, but no. Is it because they can put everyone else to sleep? Yeah, nice, but no. Is it because they can cast ice armor? Uh, no, definitely not. Total useless. No way. Total out. That they can soar? No. That they have no retaliation? No. That they're beautiful? Well, I like beautiful, but no. That they have a chance to take over enemies with 20%? <laughs> no. Code protection? Nah. Inspiration? Yes. 12% chance that my guys get a second turn of level 1 and 2, 3. Um, there are 3, there are 4, there are 4, there are 3, so it works on this too. That is not that good, but I think still it is okay with us. So this gives us mana. I buy that. That will help us ease time. And what is that? A blizzard with a chance to freeze. So, first of all, destroy the things that we definitely do not need for some extra crystals. Sort it by type. I don't think we need that axe anymore. Five crystals, that's good. We put that down. The rest is okay with me. We have room for an artif artifact. And we take this one. Ha ha! Initiative and critical hit chance. Do you get my drift? I think slowly you're understanding what I'm thinking of. 
Well, uh, that is nice, but it's not that useful for us at the moment. So I still stick with these boots. I know you don't like them, but physical damage is not really our problem at the moment. Although we can use it, we can't use we can use this one, but I don't think they're that powerful. And we can destroy that boots. I mean, plus five percent health. That's not bad, but hmm. Compared to our armor, it's pretty crappy. So, destroy. Five crystals extra. That's totally okay with me. If we get dragons one day, this boots might be good. Um, 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 um. This weapon. Minus 20 leadership. We keep that for the moment. Because maybe we will build an army later on with this ability. So I think we're good for the moment. Everything makes sense. We could s inscribe some of the spells, sheep, for example. But we cannot level that up. And the rest of the things we keep for the moment. Okay. So, you please inspire my warriors. Thank you. Let's drink some of this. Let's... Well, we can use the raven after all. That would have been a cleverer idea. That was dump. Oh, come on. Ah, what the hell. Let's go and... Oh, wonderful, the metal. 50 times more we must use it, but the effect will be impressive. And we only need 10 more trap kills. That should be possible. Let's try our new army. Okay, where is the problem? I tell you, it's with these guys. They're fast, and these guys are ranged fighters. So that are the ones that we must look after. Of course, with this kind of army, you always open with position. And then with this. And yeah, then we simply shoot the crap out of those guys. For obvious reasons, I want to shoot at these guys to keep them out of the battle. This will not do any damage to that. That will do... Oh boy. We're not really good at doing damage, are we? I could do a double shot at that guy. That should take him out. And before anything bad happens, I think we do this. That will keep him from moving. <laughs> yeah. And we get ourselves some reinforcements. Oh, wait a minute. We can put them to sleep. Because I think they're level 3. Yeah. Let's put them all to sleep. And it's our turn. And do you know what? We will pass on completely. I think they're asleep too. No, he will grab the the thing. I think that will just go wonderful. How did he wake up? That is bad. That is exactly not what I planned. Okay, that you awakened is bad. I had no interest in you awakening. Not even slightly. 
we freeze them so they are not that fast to get to us we try to put him asleep we should try to take this guys out and I forgot to cast spells oh I'm brilliant this time this way we'll never get to what we need he's out attack and defense hmm not quite what I hoped for he's poisoned but we need him out of the game but tell you what we'll use this do they have any special ability that we must fear I don't think so fear of darkness not our problem spirit of the woods not our problem they do extra damage to plants they can put us to sleep and they heal and revive plants but I have no fear of that either impressive I should have fired the special shot at him well see what he does obviously not the best plan and I think we're now in level f round 4 so more shields up and let's do a little damage to him not too much very good poison him I think you do nothing you do nothing you do nothing yay he is not the fastest that's for sure round five we get a stone skin and we get an execution impressive nice payment by the way a rune intellect experience how oh, do you know what why we are there oh whoa, whoa, whoa. this is oh shit Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, uh, I want you there to grab the chest. I want money. First hand, I want... Good question. Poison those guys. I want... Well, they do range, they do a lot of damage. Okay, I think I think it's time to do some real, really evil thing to them. That should do a lot of damage. I think they're not resistant to fire. Yeah, it should work. Oh, I totally forget position my mistake completely can you take out no you cannot so rise shields attack and defense uh, totally not what I wanted uh, put them to sleep all of them They're not sleeping. That is not good. Why are they not sleeping? Oh, don't tell me I'm I'm frozen again for three turns and take damage every turn. Fuck that shit. I dispel that. 
Okay, we must we must get rid of those guys. They're horrible. I think I need someone here. If I do that, he will wake up, right? I should have done that before I cast the sleep thing. Now he will be awake. No, he not. He, he did not wake up, even as he did get damaged. And nobody knows why. Uh, they're burning, so let's get them freezing. And you get me that chest. Ah. <sighs> Holy crap my ass. They know how to do damage, do they? What is that good for? What can they do with this thing? Can they let it pop or something like that? I'm not sure. And I should have cast a damage spell on them, um, a, a healing spell on those guys, resurrection, my fault. But situation is under control, I guess. Oh, and see, Inspired gets a second turn, totally worth it, totally worth it. Okay, I want that. And I think I want some extra units for you. Perhaps that gives you extra experience. And what can these things do, by the way? Are they useful? I don't get it. What is that good for? Can you do something with that thing? No, they can just call it. Okay, they have miserable life points, miserable attack and defense, miserable critical, their island frostproof, icing. Well, they're. Oh my god, look at this fire resistance. Horrible. This is round four. And now we get our troops back in line. Very good. You do nothing, you do nothing, you do nothing. You get us some extra experience. And we only have to survive to round number five. And everything will be all right. You take the gold. And you, which round, no, we're not round number five already. Now we are. We get ourselves a stone skin. And then we nail those suckers. No losses, I get the armies working after all. Ah, crap. But nevertheless a powerful army, I guess. Well, we'll see each more of each other next time. I hope you like my new army combination. And if you don't like it, well, write it perhaps so I can do something about it. Okay, we will see each other next time. Until then, bye.